with the most style and the most fierce eye for directing, best dancer to ever come out of hip hop culture, uh, best dresser to ever come out of hip hop culture, the smartest man to ever pick up a mic out of the Bay Area and he'll battle you and he does not care. He said he wrote a lot of Pox rhymes but didn't get credit. And he wanted to talk about that today. I told him this ain't the time, it's a time and place for everything, but he insists, you know, he if it wasn't for DJ Fuse, there would be no raw fusion because his ego was bigger than the town. I want to welcome him to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for my brother, man. I love this man, and he truly is an important, pivotal part of our history and hip hop out of Northern California, all jokes aside. Give it up for the one and only Money B. Obviously, he knows me. <laughs> and Atron, I'm gonna get him back for telling our payola stories, all right? <laughs> so look, um, me and Sweat were actually talking. Um, we said that if we don't tell our stories, then someone else will tell our stories for us, right? So I know I'm supposed to keep it short, but I'm just gonna tell a quick one. Um, a lot of you probably thinking, why is Tupac Shakur Way here? down by the lake. You know, why ain't it in East Oakland? You know, he's a thug and all that. Well, Tupac's first set of keys that he ever had to anything was right up the street and in these apartments. And, um, you know, when I get into the story, I have to talk about three digital underground members that aren't with us anymore. That's, of course, Shock G, Schmoovy Schmoove, and Dion, Big D, The Impossible. Right? Important players and why we're here right now. Um, obviously, you know, the way Pac came up, he didn't have credit, so he couldn't get an apartment on his own, right? So this apartment up the street, um, one of our group members, Smoothie Smooth, he was the apartment manager in that building. And along with Atron and Shock G, I don't know who paid for what, but they were able to get him into that apartment. And, you know, when me and Pop, when we used to first go on the road, he had never had anything. So when we were roommates, everywhere we go, he just throw his clothes wherever he, wherever he sat down. His blunt ashes would go everywhere. And I was like, well, when he gets his apartment, he'll he'll learn how to. <laughs> no, <laughs> it never happened. You go over there, it was just you know, but it was you know, it was wild times, right? <laughs> but in that same apartment. Um, along with Big D, you know, that was Pac's first producer, DJ, my childhood friend, where they created most of the music for Tupacalypse Now, right up the street in that apartment. And um, I just remember, you know, just being in there. And, and even then, when he had his own space, he was just, he was, the music was always playing. I don't care what time you went over there, there was always music playing. And, I, and I'm not talking about Jodeci or something, it's beats. Cause he's, he's always creating, he's always working. And it was almost like that was the factory. That's where, whenever you walked in, you had to pick up a pen, be ready to work. Cause that's where it was going down, right? So my fondest memory of him living there is not even in his apartment. Cause I used to live uh, on Wayne Avenue on the other side of the lake, right? So, you know, we used to always back and forth. Um, anybody that knew Tupac knew he couldn't drive, right? So I remember he got his first, was it Cherokee? He had this Jeep Cherokee, that was his first car, right? And, and remember, with Digital Underground, we were with him when he recorded his first record, when he did his first movie. You know, uh, we took him on tour for the first time. But the happiest and proudest I've ever seen Tupac was when he drove his car to the other side of the lake, to my house. I'll never forget it. And he wanted me to get in the car. I was like, nah, <laughs> right? But you know, that's just, it's just so many memories just from here to there and back and forth. Um, I could go on for a long time about it. Um, shout out to my brother, Mr. Fab, he's here. You know, he got the key to the city, but Tupac Shakur always had Oakland on lock. That's what's up. Hey, Ray. Set. I love you, Mo. Thank you guys for inviting me. All right.